this is Lucy and welcome to a Building 101 episode. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to build the up house. I have rebuilt it, I've made a few changes and I will show you what they are. I moved my camp widget so that it was higher up, giving me more space at the top so I could put more balloons on and move them higher up onto the apex of the roof. I changed the frontage here. In the original up house in the film, there was a, a very accentuated A-frame there which we can't replicate in the game. I just put a triangular roof on facing outwards but what that meant was you couldn't use that room in the upstairs because you couldn't get under the roof. So I've changed the roof aspect to make that room usable. As you can see, I haven't actually double walled the whole house, but if you want to, please feel free. I also put additional railings here on the landing platform. I kept the colours similar to the um, film house. The only difference is in the film this wall is actually pink but the pink wallpaper I have in the game is so loud, so bright, that I thought the violet looked better. I have decorated my beehive, guitar. I decided not to put a dividing wall in this room. I, in fact, moved all of the living area to the downstairs and put the workshop upstairs. This camp did not l use a lot of budget. Um, as you can see, I'm probably using about 55% of my budget. So I could decorate more if I wanted. There are no wires in this camp. I built two um, radiating power boxes by putting a upwards pointing conduit on a generator and powering it up. I merged the top box onto that and then I merged the whole lot into another box. This is the other power box. I built an arts and crafts style banister using these benches. This room is now usable and I turned it into a bathroom. Obviously you can get water from the sinks. I haven't actually got a power armor station in here. You could possibly put one on the landing pad if you wanted, one of the smaller ones. I think I will keep this as Scarlet's mobile, well it's not mobile, although I have a plan to try and make it mobile. Um, I think I will keep this as Scarlet's main camp for a while anyway. So I guess now you want to know how to build it. Yeah. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is move my camp widget. Doesn't matter, anywhere will do for now because we'll be moving it to a higher position. And that will delete the existing camp. I'm going to go into build mode and 
store all the components. Now what we need to do is build a platform up to this telegraph pole here because we are going to put our camp widget on top of the telegraph pole. It can be tricky. And obviously the platform that we just built will disappear so if you don't have full damage armor put your power armor on or dump your junk and if you're low level it may kill you that drop two stories might not <laughs> it's your risk to take I'm going to go up here now and we're going to place a foundation. I'm going to try and line it up with the road. Because I want to make this camp look like it has been lifted up from the road, I am going to double check that it's lined up with this white line um, it's a little off um, We might readjust slightly. If you're a perfectionist like me. Right, now to position the house, add an additional foundation this way. And then we want to go two to the left. And the reason I'm doing this is that these cables can be a problem. So this floor here is going to be our landing pad. And then we need two floors for the porch. We're using foundations here so that we can put the railings on because we will replace these with porch foundations. But we need to be able to get Right that way, too close to the edge. We need to be able to get our foundations on the ground lined up so that we can do the uh, floating camp trick. Right, the camp is three by three. This is equivalent of the porch the first square and then so three foundations out from here we will remove these ladders if your foundations are too high and you can't remove the ladder put a doorway down remove this foundation take the ladders off and you should be able to snap the foundation back to the doorway So this is pretty much a mirror of what we'll be doing upstairs.
We are right on the camp boundary here. Which is why it's important to get your camp widget as far to the right, if you're looking in this direction, as possible. This will be the back corner of the house. The ladder will in, be in the middle of the back of the house. But we need to build up from this back corner because the catwalk we are using will move the ladder in by one tile. Make sure your ladder is pointing upwards. And we can go around and check that everything's in the right place. Has anyone else noticed recently that you, I can't run anymore in build mode? I don't know why or when that happened. looks like everything is lined up so I am going to remove the catwalk and start placing floors down now bear in mind as I said previously once these floors are down you cannot remove them So be very careful when you're placing them. If you do make a mistake, you will have to put a ladder down from these floors with a foundation underneath. It does actually help if you connect it to the existing foundation I've found. And start again. Because once your these floors are connected to the ground, your camp is no longer floating. So though, although it looks like these foundations are connected to these floors, they're not. Now, to get the railings on, remove this foundation. And place one of these porch foundations. We want the railings here and here. We can then remove this, put a regular foundation back. You can at this point if you want put floors in, but I am <laughs> always cautious when doing things like this. We need to take this foundation off, so I have built round here to connect these. So, yeah, there we go. There's a good example. Doesn't matter which way round you put the porch foundation because we are just using it to snap railings on. Remove it. Put a regular foundation down. We can take these two off though for now. Now for walls on the lower floor. I double walled the front of the building. So I am going to use contemporary doorways. Now obviously for a doorway you need two floors either side. On these parts we don't have floors the other side. You can extend the foundations around or what I do is the door trick. I put a wall down, put a door in 
Then I convert the doorway to a wall. Remove it. Leaving a floating door, which can be useful for other things. Now, because doors can open either way, this wall doorway now has two snapping points. So you can play... You can place another wall down facing outwards. Remove the door and put your original doorway back. So, doorway down, door, convert the doorway to a plain wall, which you can then remove. Place another doorway, reversed, removes the door, original doorway. I didn't double wall all of the camp, you can if you wish. I just wanted to save a bit of budget. place thank you so now we have our lower floor you can convert these to windows if you want I'm trying to see if I can actually select the doorway from this side I don't seem to be able to you can do it from the ground or you can build your foundations out and go around and convert the outside to a window always tell on the top right what is selected it will tell you we need to put our upper floors on I like to have all my floors facing the same direction again be aware it is easy to mess this up especially if you're me <laughs> and put floors in the wrong place. We are also going to add floors over the porch. We'll put the walls on for the upstairs. These are half walls. I did put a window in there. And we are going to put a doorway on here. Because we're going to be double walling this front part, I am going to put these triangle walls on. I am using the brick because the brick is the only one you can use. Although I'm absolutely certain, I'll have to experiment, that I've actually done it with the metal accidentally once, but as a rule we normally use the brick. It does not work with the contemporary or any of the wood or barn sets. We 
we will now need to flame a trap the walls in this room to double wall them. Um, I'm not going to bother with these two because they will be hidden by the roofs. do the sides I'm going to put my flamer trap on a stash box to raise it up and you can do both those walls in one hit same with this side Double wall this, repair, actually, just in case I got the wrong one. Technically, you don't actually need to do this one, but because you need the triangular piece, it won't go on unless you double, wa double wall the bottom piece. Because there are double walls underneath, you do not need another piece of floor the other side. I will now repair these. Although you need the um, brick to do the merge, you can actually put whichever piece you want. on the outside. So we now have that double walled, put a roof on it. I used black roofs. Oops. <laughs> We do need a piece of wall here. I didn't bother with double walling this. You can again if you want, just so that the roofs will stick on here. Gives them something to snap to. there we will need walls at the end obviously we can't continue this roof like this so because you wouldn't be able to walk in underneath through the door so we need to put triangular roof on and we need to put it this way we 
going to put that one on there like that. So it, it is on the inside of centre. You could, if you wanted, I guess, make it symmetrical, but I have found that when you look at it from the outside with this triangle, this eave does look symmetrical. It just doesn't look symmetrical from the inside. You could, in theory, put a full wall in here and even put a window in if you wanted. And for this gap here, we need one of these pieces like that. So we have, pretty much, most of the house built. It's getting dark, so I will be back tomorrow to finish it. So this is what we have now. I think I'm going to go around and change the walls and put wallpaper on. We did need that piece, I didn't realise it stuck out above the roof, but there we go. <laughs> to go around the other side, I'm going to put floors down, or try. Foundations, not floor floors, upper floors. these off now. Oh, it looks like we have ghouls. I'll be right back. Looks like the coast is clear, but there were only two, so I'm a bit suspicious. To finish off the railings, I am going to use these posts that came with the um, white picket fence set. Hopefully Bethesda will put this in the Atom store again. Um, I have noticed recently, as I'm sure some of you have, but it's, all, it's worth mentioning, that if an item is not in the Atom store at the moment, sometimes you can go to your atoms uh, your build menu so for example I didn't buy this delightful thing as decorations go I mean maybe if it went on a tabletop but I can't imagine ever putting this in a camp but I can buy it from the atom store um, I usually do buy most of the home furnishing stuff, but yeah, not really to my taste. I believe it's Paul Bunyan, but I actually don't know who that is. So. Oh well. I created a blueprint of these two posts. Just put one on top of the other and blueprinted it. And we are going to use it to... Just finish off these end pieces. It will slide into the railing. I 
And I guess the last thing really is putting the balloons on. Um, Obviously, if you don't have the heart balloons, there are other balloons in the game. There are the fashion app balloons. I believe there are also some star balloons um, in the game now. Although I don't actually have them on any of my characters yet. I do have the balloon arch, but not the... Uh, I started pretty much at the apex with the balloons facing forwards and then sort of did them in groups of three. Tried to centre them. Just sort of using the grid on the roof. To work it out. Obviously you can put as many or as few as you like. Um, one of the other things I did was, I think that I changed these roof pieces to the, that's the inner one that's the problem. so that it has the white trim because the inner one still has the um, can't get it <laughs> you can do it from the inside the inner one still has the um, brick on it which has a brown yeah, I did notice the ghoul downstairs. It used to be enemies used to come at you in sort of a group of three or four, but now sometimes they seem to get delayed. So it kind of attenuates it and that you just are over a period of about half an hour you'll, <laughs> you'll get one and then one and then another one and it can be quite annoying if you're building a lot right now I've just realised I've done something stupid I need to take these off which is going to remove them <laughs> Remove the poles, I'll have to redo that. We want to put on our... Go on. Upper floors. Making sure they go in the right direction. Just change these out for something a little more attractive. Then we can put the posts on.
I used the white door. This door was available quite early on in the game. I have seen it in the Atom Store once, I think. I mean, I don't often notice when it's something that I already have. Now what you can do is you can remove all of these foundations. I will leave that one there just for a minute. Here we go, another door. Let's see if I can make this jump. Right, I will put my power armor on. Anyway, the house is finished. Obviously you need to decorate the inside. Um, I haven't put too many balloons on the roof at the moment because because of the low ceiling I want to put um, workbenches upstairs. They quite often won't fit in. You have to take the roof off so I will have to take that off in a minute to um, get those workbenches in. You see what I mean about the apex of the roof here on the side? It is symmetrical. I must admit, I'm actually quite tempted now to double wall the whole thing. <laughs> Don't know. Quite like having lots of camp budget. It's a rarity for me, to be honest. I think one quick thing I will show you before I go. The power boxes. Take a generator, put a power conduit on the top, wire it up. Get a toolbox, doesn't have to be a toolbox, can be this box. Make sure it's centered-ish, doesn't have to be exact, you just want to make sure it's covering the power conduit. Get your pressure plate. on the pressure plate. Let's try this. It's working. Make sure you're actually selecting the right thing, otherwise it does that and you're back to square one. <laughs> this can be a little bit tricky, but most of the time it works pretty well. It's just a matter of being careful. Mm, I think that'll do. Then you do all you do is get a bigger stash box, lift up the generator, And then merge the whole lot. I 
just trying to see. It looks like there's a little gap, so I'll give it one more. Yeah, still a little gap. <laughs> one more. There we go. You now have a box that has a power connector and a generator inside it. And... Should work. It works. So you can have hidden electrics, you don't have to worry in a small build about passing wires anywhere. Voila. So that's it for me today. If you have any questions, comments, the usual down below. Thank you for watching. <laughs>